Unemployment numbers continue to rise. The Department of Labor releasing new numbers that show 4.4 million have been laid off from work and they've applied for benefits last week. That brings the total of people who have filed for unemployment since the coronavirus started to roughly 26 million. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno has been following this story for weeks now. So Lauren, where does Florida and Georgia stand among those numbers? Those numbers are rising. More than half a million Floridians applied for unemployment last week alone. Georgia had more than 240,000 people apply. Mark Green has worked since he was 14 years old. And, uh, Almost 50 years later, he's filed for unemployment for the first time. The first time in your life you apply and, and the whole thing was designed to crash, which is just totally blows me away. Green has been following the server issues with the unemployment website. Green knows computer systems. He works in IT. But right now, all he can do is wait. Do you kind of feel like at this point you're just a number? Yes, yeah. Just one of those numbers. And Florida's numbers aren't going down. Florida's the only state in the country to see a dramatic increase of people filing for unemployment week to week. According to the Department of Labor, more than 180,000 Floridians applied for unemployment the second week of April. The next week, almost 325,000 people applied. That was the largest increase in the United States during that time period. Now, Florida's unemployment website has proven week after week it's not capable of dealing with those kinds of numbers. We'll fix it. Just fix it. Checks are slowly going out, though. The Department of Economic Opportunity reports more than 117,000 claims have been paid, which has Florida's chief financial officer, Jimmy Petronas, reminding everyone to make sure the checks are real. He says, look for these three giveaways. The envelope should have the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity's logo, which you can see here. Then look for Florida state seal in the upper left-hand corner. Finally, make sure it's signed by Jimmy Petronas with his signature. And today, Congress is expected to pass a $484 billion relief package, the majority of that money going to the Paycheck Protection Program, which is designed to help small businesses hire back staff that they've had to let go during this pandemic, which could in return lower the amount of people needing unemployment benefits. I'll have a complete breakdown of that new round of money coming up tonight at 10. Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.